She stood in the storm, and when the wind did not blow her away, she adjusted her sails. Hey you guys, what is up? I am Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. Say hi to Kermie and Roxy. They have become staples, especially in my haul videos. And today, you guys, is an extra, extra special video because this is one that myself and Kira over at 50 Shades of Mom have kind of been hinting about in some of our videos recently that we were going to be doing a box exchange. Now, if you don't know who 50 Shades of Mom is, she is Kira and she is fantastic. We uh, met here on YouTube and have never actually met in person, but I like to say that our friendship has blossomed into this beautiful thing. I couldn't even tell you how we first started talking. Kira, if you can fill me in on that, I don't remember because I just feel like our friendship grew so organically. And now we talk almost every single day. We talk about YouTube, we talk about life, we talk about when the stinking border is gonna open and I can make a trip to visit her. Hallelujah. <laughs> but you guys are not here to hear me gush about Kira over at 50 Shades of Mom. And by the way, if you guys aren't subscribed, head on over to her channel, subscribe, leave her a little froggy and let her know that Vanessa from Randomness sent you. All right. Okay, so here's my box. <laughs> Thumbnail. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so obnoxious sometimes, you guys. If you guys don't follow me on my second channel, I have another channel where I do like mukbangs and eating shows and food reviews, and it's called Nosh with Ness, and I'm constantly doing stupid stuff like that in my videos. Anyway, today is about this box. So basically, Kira is in Texas. I am in New Brunswick, Canada. This is basically an American and Canadian exchange, and it's some things that I knew she couldn't find in the US, so very Canadian, or things that I thought that Kira would love, I sent to her, and I'm assuming that this box is probably full of things that she knows I can't find in Canada and things that she knows that I absolutely love. And I already know right off the bat, she told me that she went a little bit crazy on some Ray Dunn stuff because Lord knows I cannot find that stuff anywhere here, you guys. So. I'm super excited. She's had her box for about a week. Mine just came a couple days ago or yesterday. Yeah, it just came yesterday. So obviously I'm like, okay, as soon as I get it, we're gonna film, we're gonna film. And I think this isn't going up for like a week after I get the box. So I'll probably have some sneak previews on Instagram to show everybody. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up because I'm just as excited as you guys probably are to go ahead and crack this open. All right, so the very first thing, I'm just gonna grab stuff out of this box because she has everything kind of wrapped and labeled. And I said to her, I said, I feel like you probably put way more, um, I don't know, cuteness into this box. Like I just kind of wrapped stuff. I didn't leave notes. She left me notes on everything. And she said, she's so freaking sweet. She said, she's a veteran when it comes to this stuff. This is like her fourth or fifth box exchange. So I'm excited to do more, but let's dive right in. I see a baggie here and on it, it says, for your love of spicy. <laughs> So if you guys are not following me or you're new, um, I do love spicy food. It's not something that I've always loved, but it's kind of become this new passion for me. So I'm super pumped about it. And over on my Nosh with Ness channel, uh, yeah, everything has hot sauce on it. Or if you follow my what I eat in a day, everything has hot sauce on it. <laughs> okay, oh, this one looks like it might have leaked a little bit. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, first thing she sent me, oh my God. <laughs> Tapatio ramen, you guys. First of all, I cannot find this hot sauce here. This isn't something I can get. And I've looked on Amazon to see about maybe finding it on Amazon and I can't find it. Um, or I could, but it was just a crazy price. Charlie, get. My dogs are sniffing it and she has dogs and a cat, Oliver. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> um, so no doubt they're smelling all of that right now. Anyway, Tapatio Ramen, I'm like so stupid happy about this. I feel like I've seen them on some Dollar Tree hauls and whatnot, but I have been dying to try that hot sauce. But then when she said she saw the ramen, she was just like, this was literally made for Vanessa. So it was Kira. It was literally made for me. So I'm probably gonna do this on my Nosh with Ness channel as a mukbang. Eee, I'm like so excited and I've just opened my first thing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna crack this open because it's, ah! It's leaking a little bit, so I'm kind of nervous to see what's in here. Oh, it doesn't like have a smell. Oh. Oh, she said she was gonna send me the best hot sauce. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. MJ, MJ, get out of the window. 
back to the unboxing. Ooh, so it did open a little bit. I wonder if it's cracked. Why is it? Or it's at the seam? Oh, it must be. So I'm too busy looking at the leak. So here it is. She sent me a bottle of Louisiana, the perfect hot sauce. I love the color of it. It looks phenomenal. It kind of looks a little bit like a Taco Bell color, but it's leaking here on the side. So it looks like it's coming from under the seam. So I'll just bring it in the kitchen and clean it up. I'm super excited. So if you guys have tried any of this stuff, especially the food stuff, comment down below and let me know what your opinions are on it because I'm super curious. All right, and one more thing in here for the Love of Spicy bag. These, I, she, I saw her haul these on her Dollar Tree haul. Um, if you guys don't know, Kira does phenomenal, phenomenal Dollar Tree hauls. So head on over and check her out. We both love a good dollar store, a dollar ram, a Dollar Tree deal. So these are the peach rings, kind of like fuzzy peaches, I guess. And they were tahine flavored. And one of my grocery hauls, I had bought tahine to try uh, my oldest stepdaughter loves it she's 17 she's always putting it on her fruit it's so 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 stinking good so yay spicy stuff <laughs> all right this one here says because we share the same loves so i'm kind of excited to say see this kira and i have a lot in common we love to cook we love our family we just kind of like doing stuff for people oh here we go i think we're starting on the ray dunn the Ray Dunn stuff. Oh my God. Oh, I love all of this stuff. Oh my God. And the fact of the matter is that I need more of these. Oh my God. And it's silicone. I'm just freaking out and I'm not showing you guys. I'm going to do better. Oh, look. So it's Ray Dunn and it's got a wooden handle and it's a spatula and it's actually, it's firm, but it's silicone. It's really, really nice. And it says, what does it say? flip <laughs> trying to read things upside down and this one is a mixer see it's so so cute i love it, it says mix on it oh kira yay this is fun <laughs> oh my gosh this is the biggest box of hash browns <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. Now, I have said before on my grocery hauls and stuff that we cannot get shredded hash browns. Not the box kind, not the frozen kind, not any kind here. Um, I have had to order them on Amazon before. So this is amazing. This is so stinking amazing. She says, well, let's read what her little note here says. For your family to enjoy, I'm reading backwards. Oh, this is amazing. So what do I do? Oh, and it just says on the side, you take hot water. All right, because I bought in the little cartons from uh, help Amazon. And that's pretty much the same thing. Okay, I'm really, 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 really excited for this. This means we're having breakfast tomorrow morning, Sunday breakfast, hash browns. <laughs> All right, Kira, you're so friggin' cute. So she left me a little note here. We're going to open it together. It says, live her words, let them inspire you. Oh, this is so beautiful. Like even things as simple as this, you guys, I can't find them anywhere. Oh, I love it. Be brave and work hard. So it's basically uh, like a porcelain. It's just a, oh, it had little felt things there for it to sit on. So I would just put this like, I think I would probably put this on my desk downstairs because I'm trying to make a better workplace or creator space for myself. I have one, but I'm just not always tidy. Let's just be honest about that. And it's so cluttered down there, it's a mess. So when I get it organized and cleaned up, this will definitely look so, so pretty on my desk. And I think actually right now it might go on uh, my wall unit up here. If you guys have followed any of my vlogs, you kind of have an idea of what's in my house. Kira, I love it. That is amazing. I'm, I'm literally going to guess what this is, okay? So just look at the shape. I can feel the box, the bottle, because I know it's a bottle. And she said, because, duh. <laughs> so if you guys follow my what's for dinners or my grocery hauls, I go on about ranch seasoning. I know that's what this is. I'm telling you right now. We can't find it. Not like I can only find, um, I can't find the Hidden Valley. I can find Clubhouse in a package and that's it. So it's a little bit frustrating because it does not taste as good. And there's so many recipes. I want to make my own homemade ranch, all of that stuff. So yeah, because duh. So if you saw on a grocery haul or I did like, I don't know, one of my videos, I paid $32 for this on Amazon, but I did because I'm hardcore and I mean business. <laughs> so she went ahead and grabbed me a big old 
container of ranch, which I believe you guys can get at your Sam's and your Costco maybe in the US. So mega excited because I will say I use her extremely sparingly extremely sparingly i'm like don't touch that that's for cooking <laughs> i just feel like nobody touched the ranch seasoning so now i have this one and i'm about halfway down the one that i did buy so i've used like 16 dollars worth of it already <laughs> so now i have this one and i will probably just go hog wild on ranch everything stay tuned for that in my what's for dinner <laughs> all right this one i'm curious about she wrote a little note it says it's a memory from our costco collab so our very first collab together was uh costco over at christmas over at christmas over Christmas we did a big one me and her and Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom who is also somebody that I am mega pumped to meet as well and yeah we did a mega mega haul that was a big one for me a big collab I ended up getting like four, over 400 subscribers from collabing that was a big one ladies <laughs> uh oh red hot jalapeno jelly I love this stuff over cream cheese with crackers but this one oh my gosh looks freaking amazing this says based on pork tenderloin grilled chicken oh my god that would be so so good <gasps> and serve over cream cheese we're not gonna lie I'm probably going to do the last the ladder and Jamie's going to be freaking pumped. So when I get home tonight, because I have to go do some running around today, um, we are definitely and I have a block of cream cheese. Look at me get it all pumped and excited. OK, now I'm really excited. We're going to have this tonight. I have some crackers. Kira, you're feeding us. We've got breakfast for tomorrow. I got ranch seasoning for supper. I got tapatio for lunch and I've got snacks <laughs> because you guys need to experience new flavors. So I'm very curious. I'm trying to guess and maybe I'm taking the fun out of it, but I feel like What's something that? <laughs> so like anywhere, we just, I don't know, you guys come out with your restaurants, your fast food restaurants. There's just always newer things. And I guess sometimes we have things here that people say they wish, I'm sorry, I touch my hair a lot. That's just a side effect of anxiety. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I feel like it's, you guys just get all the good stuff. But I guess we do have stuff here. Like people always say, well, you guys have poutine everywhere, right? Oh my God, Kira, Kira. Nobody's getting any of these. I'm hiding all of this for the record. All right, first up, never seen these here. They could be in Canada. So, I mean, you can flood my comment section with, well, we can get them here. Well, here in St. John, Canada, I haven't seen them. <laughs> uh, peanut butter Oreo cookies. So I'm very excited about this one. Peanut butter is my weakness to the point where give me one second oh my lanta <laughs> look at this i know this is not a, an eating channel it's not a review oh my gosh oh i you know what i'm not trying this i'm not trying them i'm not trying them what's the other one this one i feel like maybe i've seen but not exactly i don't know that this one's actually maybe not i think there's like a s'mores one but i haven't seen like just chocolate marshmallow because there's there's no like graham cracker involved in this these look really good too do you know what i'm gonna do with these i'm gonna review these on my nosh with nest channel so make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to see what a canadian girl thinks of american cookies they're probably available in canada somewhere i just don't see them and Belle's gonna be super pumped because she's always loving to see she's like if you see new flavors of oreos mom can you grab them because she watches like review youtube videos and stuff too so all right, she says, because we share the same love, don't get it twisted. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going to be in this one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry if that was really close to the mic. I love this. So this isn't just Kira who probably knows of this about me. Other people probably know this about me. Uh, yeah. I love a good twisted tea, okay? If you guys don't know what that is, it's an alcoholic adult beverage. And here in Canada where I am, we can get cases of, and there's four flavors in it. There's raspberry, peach, original, and half and half. Um, I know some people have said they've only seen half and half and original, but I love this so much. What? holy enough to pray for you hood enough to swing on you don't get it twisted okay this is so freaking cute you guys honestly and i love this t-shirt it feels really really amazing i feel like maybe she there's a there was somebody that sponsored her it was like a clothing t-shirt company or something i feel like this might be it i don't know is it comment down below kira <laughs> i love this 
Rah, this is my new Friday night having a twisted t-shirt. T-shirt, having a twisted tea t-shirt. Okay, that was weird. Keep you warm up there. I'm assuming you mean up here in Canada because I'm telling you it was 18 degrees a few days ago and now it is freezing, it snowed and if you were following me on Instagram last night we had Thunder, lightning, hail. What's going on? What? What is that? Oh, get them. Oh, get them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Massive marble hail just tumbling down. Thank goodness my new car isn't here yet. <laughs> Ooh. She's so sweet because she says things to me like she's like, I saw this and I immediately thought of you. And you know what's really cute is I don't actually own a scarf. Did you know that? I don't. But this is beautiful. This is amazing. I'm going to wear it the rest of the video. <laughs> Okay, people are not going to subscribe. They're going to leave. <laughs> ah, ah, the pen. And it says right, and it's Ray done. And because she knows me, and she's amazing. Oh my like, I feel that. I didn't put notes on all your stuff, Kira. <laughs> to keep you relaxed and feeling beautiful. So when you watch Kira's haul of her opening, she's not going to have a clue what anything is, why I gave it to her. <laughs> I think I, I put some stuff in there. Did I put anything in there for a cat? I don't think so. But I think I put some stuff in there for her little kids. Hopefully she figures out the candy is for the kids. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm feeling extremely... Let me take the scarf off. <sighs> Number one, this is way too much. Talking to you. Talking, talking to you, Kira. I mean, my goodness. Okay, so she's, it says to keep you calm and feeling relaxed. You guys see what that is? That's a very beautiful uh, bag. <laughs> a Michael Kors. Thank you. Beautiful. But she filled it up with stuff. <laughs> oh my God, Kira, you're too stinking much. First of all, this is one of my favorite body sprays. I love anything that smells like food. Honestly, vanilla, uh, like butterscotch, praline, apples. I love it all. <laughs> Oh, Trader Joe's, you guys, I love Trader Joe's. Well, I mean, like in theory, hypothetically, I love Trader Joe's. I've never been there, but I watch the hauls. I binge them. I do. This is a Trader Joe's Aromatherapy Moody Odyssey. So I'm assuming there's oils in here. And we actually have a couple of diffusers that we just are neglectful and never use. And I don't have any oil right now. So this is like perfect timing. So this is Map Your Mood. So there's different ones here. We've got Relax. So they all come like this. I'm assuming you guys could probably find them at Trader Joe's unless this was like a Christmas thing. And there's the ones in the back. It says right on it what they are. Bliss, Relax, Awake, and Sleep. Oh, wow. This is so going in my bedroom. Although, you know, I may actually start putting one out here. Jamie really struggles with sleeping. And he's been starting uh, taking magnesium at night because he has restless legs. And he, I may burn this out here while he's trying to sleep. I know that sounds funny. Follow my vlogs. You'll understand why he sleeps in the living room. <laughs> okay. What is this? Onyx bathhouse living my best life so these must be bath salts oh they're they're like colored bubbles what's more fun than a tub full of pink bubbles a tub full of colorful cherry blossom scented bubbles just pour onyx boathouse bubble bath uh, powder under warm running water for instant excitement parents and kids are like oh my gosh i don't know if you got this for the kids 
but I'm going to use it because <laughs> she knows I'm a bath girl. Sometimes I take two baths a day. I swear most of our um, hydro bill is from keeping hot water in our water tank. Like literally, we probably spend way too much money on hot water in this house. But you know what? We know how to relax. So, oh my God, I'm like actually, I just had a bath. Otherwise, I would probably like get in there. This is what's a night. This is what's a night. This is what's a night. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Not really. All right. Last thing in here, brown sugar scrub from Trader Joe's. Hello. I'm really excited about this one. Oh my God. Let's just open it. Let's just check it out. Oh, well, we're going to open it all the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. I could so do that. So tonight we have a big night planned. <laughs> and this is gorgeous. Like, hello, love it. And anyone that knows me knows I don't really carry a big purse. I always just have something small. So this is like the perfect thing to carry if I'm going out with uh, Jamie because typically I don't have a lot of dressy things. So this is probably the nicest thing I ever owned, Kira. That was loud. I'm sorry. My mic's right here. <laughs> All right. There's one bag left in this box. And then just to show you, it's empty. Uh, it's a ray gun. Ray gun. Who the heck is ray gun? Okay. Pew, pew. Ray gun, Ray done. Gift bag right here. So let's take a look. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, see, <laughs> she did though. She sent cat treats for my kitty cat. So they're going to be super excited. They love that. They, <laughs> I love that. I just love that. Like she's just so thoughtful. You know what I mean? Thoughtful. Turn the beat around. I'm going to get demonetized if I keep singing. Uh, that's amazing. I love everything about this. Literally, it is so getting hung up today in my kitchen. Look for it in my upcoming day in the life. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. I'm getting crazy. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I'll put this in my office too. A beautiful sign. It says create. It's kind of glass or plastic there on the front. It's got a pretty little ribbon here. Oh my God. I actually really, really freaking love that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of sad that I'm almost done opening this. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Not like the things, but I feel, I feel like we're connected through this. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm hanging out with her right now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and snacks for my babies. If you guys know, dogs are my life. Snoozy McGee over here. Uh, oh my gosh. You want one right now, Mom? You won't have a tree right now? Roxy, you want a tree? You want this one? Oh my god, it's so cute. I've never seen these before. They're shaped like little fruits. You want an apple? Oh, that's Kira. Kira, get that to you. Oh my god. You know they get fed too much when they're like, meh. Oh, she likes it. Yay, she likes it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Second to last thing here. Uh, so this is cute. It says, because I'm so proud of you, don't let anyone steal the wind from your sails. Literally, Kira's probably my, my biggest cheerleader. <laughs> She really helps me a lot. Like she's calmed me down over things and we just work things out. We rationalize things. Oh, wow. This is really, really nice. Wow. So it's one of those beautiful bracelets. Okay. And there's an, something written on the inside. I'll show you first and then I'm going to read it. There's little hearts on either side. She stood in the storm, and when the wind did not blow her away, she adjusted her sails. This is beautiful. Oh, okay, I really, 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 really like this. <laughs> you know, it, it's too funny. Things for me I love, but when it comes to my pets, you know, I like to spoil them. What can I say? Oh, this is so friggin' cute. I am hanging this up. This is where their leashes are now going to hang. This is so friggin' cute. It's like a metal and it's just a nice wooden plaque. You hang it up and it's got the little hook there so I can hang it up and we can hang their leashes there. 
This is amazing. This is amazing. Everything is amazing, Kira. You are a freaking phenomenal human being. Right? Right. What is that smell? I'm just so glad that we finally found the time to sit down and do it. I would say it's probably been four or five months we've talked about this. And then there was like a good two months we were kind of building the box and stuff kept happening. And then with everything that happened in Texas with the insane snowstorms and everything that was going on and Kira was moving, there was just a lot going on. So I am glad that this finally happened and it's kind of surreal that it's over actually as I'm sitting here, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I hope Kira that you enjoy the random crap that I sent you because I kind of feel like that's what I did, but I just walked around, had fun, threw stuff in a box and shipped it to Texas. So I'm hoping for the best. Make sure you guys head over to Kira's channel, see what I sent her. I sent her a few Canadian classics. If you guys follow my channel, you know what those probably are. Some food, some fun decor things that I sent her. Anyway, guys, head on over, leave a frog in the comments. She'll know it's from me and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out immensely in this YouTube algorithm world and it helps uh, with me putting out more content. <laughs> all right, guys, love you all so stinking much, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye for now.